these blue, green, and yellow colors found within the Grand Prismatic Springs at Yellowstone National Park are created by tiny single-cell organisms called archaea. Let's take a look at archaea. Archaea is one of the six kingdoms of life. For many years, archaea was called archaeobacteria, but has since been changed to archaea due to the fact that archaea are not bacteria. In fact, archaea have more in common with the domain eukarya than bacteria. Archaea do share many similarities with bacteria, which may cause you to think that they are the same organism, but they are not. For example, they have the following in common with bacteria. They are unicellular. They are prokaryotes, which means they don't have a nucleus or membrane-bound organelles. They reproduce asexually using binary fission. Their cells contain ribosomes, cytoplasm, but you won't find membrane-bound organelles like a mitochondria. However, the membrane structures of archaea and bacteria are very different. The cell walls are also very different, and the enzymes that read the genetic code in archaea are different than the enzymes that read the genetic code in bacteria. Many archaea have the ability to live in extreme environments like deep hydrothermal vents or in hot springs or on glacial ice and in very salty solutions. These types of archaea are called extremophiles. Check out some of the extreme places you will find archaea. However, they can also be found living next to bacteria in your gut. The name archaea means ancient things because archaea have been around for a long, long time. Interesting fact, to date no archaea has been found to cause disease in humans. So in summary, archaea are single-celled prokaryotic organisms in which some have the ability to live in extreme environments. Thanks for watching and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind someone today.